Most people think the crypto wallet is just a place for coins. But what if it could hold something even more valuable? For example, your data. Exactly. The same wallet that keeps your data safe can protect something far more personal, the information that defines you and that is your personal data. Stay with us today because we will show you how your wallet can become the tool that frees you from passwords, cloud accounts and big tech. And why not your keys, not your coins now also means not your keys, not your data. Robin, everyone knows a wallet holds Bitcoin or Ethereum, but you're saying it can hold much more. How come? Yeah, the problem starts with how today's clouds work. As I said in the first uh, podcast episode, we hand over our data to Big Tech. Um, they store it, they lock it up and we lose control. So that means every uh, photo, message or document passes through a central gatekeeper. Mm. So the issue isn't just privacy, it's more like structure. Yeah, right. So centralized cloud means uh, one authority, one single point of failure, uh, one set of rules that can change overnight. And if that system goes down or decides differently, your digital life depends on it. And that's why we need a decentralized model, a blockchain cloud uh, where you hold the access key in your own wallet. And um, I would say, to be honest, so we all believe in self-custody when it comes to our crypto. So most of us wouldn't trust any exchange to hold our uh, Bitcoin or, or altcoins forever. Um, so um, we keep our coins and token in our own decentral uh, wallet because that's what independence means to us. So, but very few people uh, realize that the same wallet can also hold something even more valuable, uh, uh, which is your data. So crypto fans like us are convinced that self-custody equals freedom. And um, we want to own our coins and tokens, our, our keys, and we do it. But when it comes to our uh, data, we, are, we, are, we act completely differently. So we hand it over to Big Tech um, is as if they were doing a favor for us, uh, uh, keeping it safe. So uh, that's like leaving all our crypto on, a on an exchange, never being able to sell it or, or move it or cash it out because the exchange says, uh, hey, you transferred it to us, so it's ours now. So that's it. But that's exactly what's happening with our, uh, to our data. So decentralized wallets like MetaMask, uh, Ledger, Phantom, or, or what else were built because we believe in self-custody in crypto. And now it's time to apply uh, the same principles to our data because your information uh, deserves something, uh, some, uh, the same protection and sovereignty as your coins. So let me sum it up. That would mean that Big Tech can't act as a gatekeeper anymore. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So when data is decentralized, no one can block you, spy you, or, or quietly rewrite, uh, rewrite uh, the rules. So your wallet will be your direct entry. So no password, no sign in, sign in with X, no Google, no Apple login, no tracking cookies. Um, yeah. Okay, then uh, maybe let's talk about what actually goes into this new blockchain cloud. I would say everything uh, uh, that's about you. So all data stored in apps platform and big tech clouds can brought back under your control. So you can uh, collect and copy it piece by piece and uh, keep it in self custody uh, because that's real value and that is real. Uh, that is your value. And I mean, documents, photos, fitness and health records, shopping history, everything. Um, uh, so only you can bring uh, those pieces back together. And that's a foundation of uh, your private digital twin that um, you truly own yourself. And um, just to be clear, Dwinity isn't a big tech platform. So, uh, so we don't host or own any data and we don't have service. Um, Dwinity only provides the decentralized connections, the, the network that links your data across blockchain um, nodes, and uh, we create uh, the data model behind the digital twin, but we are not a gatekeeper. We are, we are something like a bridge. So just like um, a wallet provider can't see how many tokens uh, or coins you hold. So Dwinity can't see your data. And that's 
that's what it makes uh, it truly independent. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So the wallet becomes more like a symbol of digital freedom, right? Yeah, you can say that. Um, so uh, just think about not your keys, not your coins. That That is what uh, crypto taught us. So the same rule applies to data. Uh, right now, data is the new gold. Everybody's talking about that, but users don't own any of it. So if you want to profit from your own data, you must hold it yourself and uh, just uh, you hold your, your crypto. So I can't stress that enough. The moment you hold that key or your keys, you stop being uh, a user, you start being an owner of your data. Mm -hmm. yeah, that makes sense. The, the wallet isn't where the data lives, it's the key to it. Yeah, right. Just like your crypto. So your coins aren't uh, uh, literally uh, inside your wallet. Everybody knows that. So uh, it's only the key to your asset on the blockchain. And the same uh, is with your data. Your wallet unlocks your decentralized data cloud, uh, which lives uh, across nodes, uh, uh, not on company servers. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's the first step for anyone listening now? How can they start? The blockchain cloud is live already. So um, go to dwinity.shop and uh, get your license for uh, the blockchain cloud. So the license gives you access to your personal decentralized data space. Uh, from there, you uh, don't need any new app or account or something like that. You just uh, simply connect with the wallet you already have. MetaMask, Phantom, Ledger, Treasure, uh, hot or cold wallet, software, hardware wallet whatever it, it doesn't matter so your wallet becomes your key to the blockchain cloud it's your address inside uh, your wallet uh, your personal way to log in um yeah that's that's real independence so uh, once you hold your key um your data lives under your control no password uh, no sign in with google no middleman just you your wallet and your data space and um, that finally belongs to you okay interesting let's sum it up one more time the journey starts at Dwinity.shop, but the freedom starts the moment you log in with your own wallet. Yes, right. That's a shift from old web uh, two, which is centralized, to the new decentralized uh, web three. Um, that means uh, your keys, your coins, and now your keys, your data. Yeah, Robin, beautifully said, I would say. Thanks for breaking it down so clearly. Thanks. And to everyone listening, so go uh, explore your data freedom. It's simpler than you uh, think. You're already self-sovereign uh, in crypto. So um, just use uh, your existing wallet to get self-sovereign uh, with your data too. Okay. And that's it for today's episode. Check out Dwinity.shop, connect your wallet, and take your first step into the real digital ownership. Thanks for turning in. And see you next week for episode three, how crypto can extend your life, blockchain as a quantum leap for longevity. Yes, that is a great topic. So uh, this will be awesome. Can't wait. So see you next week. See you next week. Bye.